Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. As part of solving miscellaneous series sums, to find out the sum of a miscellaneous series, we will use VN method generally and we in this session we will briefly try to understand what is VN method and do we have any formula which we can use so that we can give the answer very quickly. So let's first try to understand the concept behind it and how the formula is derived so that we can apply that in the problems. Suppose we have to find out the sum of 1 by 2 into 4 into 6 plus 1 by 4 into 6 into 8 plus 1 by 6 into 8 into 10 like that we have to do for n terms. Let us say continues for n terms we have to do it for n terms. Now what we do as part of Vn method is we take a term and we will try to write it as difference of two consecutive terms of another sequence or another series. Let's try to understand that. For that what I will do, I will take the first term here. The first term is 1 by 2 into 4 into 6. Now when I want to write this as difference of two consecutive terms, what comes to my mind is immediately is 2, 4, 4, 6 because 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So I will write down 1 by 2 into 4 minus 1 by 4 into 6. This is good because if I am able to write this, next term I can write it as 1 by 4 into 6 minus 1 by 6 into 8. Then I see that lot of terms will cancel and I will get my answer very easily. Now only the problem is directly can I write down or do I need to do any correction here. When I do 1 by 2 into 4 mi minus 1 by 4 into 6, I have, if I take LCM, I get 6. Here I get 6 and here I get 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So I have to divide with 1 by 4. So this is perfectly alright. 1 by 2 into 4 into 6 equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into 4 minus 1 by 4 into 6. Similarly, can I go to the next one and write down 1 by 4 into 6 into 8 equal to 1 by 4 into same logic. 1 by 4 into 6 minus 1 by 6 into 8. Also, 1 by 6 into 8 into 10 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 6 into 8 minus 1 by 8 into 10. Now, in this way, what will be the nth term? The nth term will be, so starting with 2, so what will be the nth term? 2 plus a plus n minus 1 into common difference is 2. So that is nothing but 2n. So it will be 2n into 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4. How I write that final term as? I will write it as 1 by 2n into 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4 which is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 2n into 2n plus 2 minus 1 by 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4. Now, now this is called as my Vn. The last term what I have is my Vn. This is my Vn minus 1. This is Vn minus 1. So, if you put n equal to, th so this is your V0 and we have v1, we have v2, we can see that all of them are in, actually they are following the, it's a, they are next terms of the same arithmetic progression, 2, 4, 4, 6, 4, 6, 6, 8, 6, 8, 8, 10. So v0 is 2, 4. If you put vn equal to, suppose vn we said is 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4, put n equal to 0, you will get the first term. Put n equal to 2, you will get your v2, n equal to 2, you should get your v2 term, n equal to 2, if you put down, n equal to 2 will be 2 into 4, oops, sorry, this is v0, v1, then this is v1 and v2, that's my mistake, that's a blunder, 
v0 v1 v1 v2 so v2 is nothing but 2 into 2 plus 2 6 6 into 8 like this now what we observe here when we try to sum this up we try to sum this all and find out for n terms what happens is 1 by 4 will be as it is there and this 4 by 6 6 by 8 8 by 10 all of them will cancel other than v0 and vn so what will be left out is nothing but 1 by 4 multiply with v0 will be left out that is 1 by 2 into 4 minus vn is left out what is vn vn is nothing but 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4 so this is how we can find out the sum of n terms of a miscellaneous series using the vn method now do we have any formula for this let's try to understand what is the formula and how the formula is derived now the formula is like this sn is equal to 1 by r minus 1 into d into v0 minus vn now only the thing we have to understand is what is v0 and what is vn it's very simple before that we see what is r r is how many terms we have here we have one two three three terms are there three minus one is how much two d is how much difference is nothing but two so one by two into two that is nothing but what we got earlier one by four multiply with v0 v0 is nothing but you have skip the skip the last term whatever is given so it's nothing but 1 by 2 into 4 minus of when you go to vn you know that vn will be nothing but you have to skip the first term of your nth term nth term of this is 2n into 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4 you skip the first one then it will be 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4 I'll repeat again the formula is Sn equal to 1 by R minus 1 into D. How many terms are there? Suppose it is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 5 terms are there. So R is 5. R minus 1 is 4. 4 into 2, 8 at the time. Suppose it is like 1, 4, 7, 10 and 13. 13. 1, 4, 7, 10 and 13. 5 terms are there. 5 minus 1 r minus 1 is 4 and the difference is 3 so 4 3s are 12 you have to divide with 12 in that particular case here there are only three terms so 3 minus 1 is 2 and the common difference between them is 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 into v0 v0 is nothing but whatever the first term we have other than the last term of the denominator whatever you have in that arithmetic progression 2 4 6 skip the 6 that is our v0 then that is our v0 then vn is nothing but go to the nth term of this 2 2 is 2n 4 is 2n plus 2 6 is 2n plus 4 there we skip it the last term here we will skip the first term because you have seen that why we are doing it they all will cancel other than the first and last the last one will be 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 4 now the point is how it is r minus 1 into d let's put couple of let us spend couple of minutes on that to understand why it is r minus 1 into d you know that 2 4 6 instead of that can i say a1 a2 a3 now what are you do, trying to do here now you are writing down 1 by a1 a2 what you are actually doing is a3 minus a1 1 by a1 a2 minus 1 by a2 a3 so if you take lcm what you have here is a3 minus a1 so you are trying to divide with a3 minus a1 and you say 1 by a3 minus a1 but what is a3 minus a1 a1 is a let us say a2 is a plus d a3 is nothing but a plus 2d so a3 minus a1 is always 2d what is that 2 by the way 2 is nothing but 3 terms are there 3 minus 1 because in the first term a1 is a and a3 is a plus 2d because our an formula is 
a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if there are r terms, it is r minus 1. If there are 3 terms, 3 minus 1 multiply with d. That is how the formula came, r minus 1 into d. I hope that is clear. So, let me know your feedback on this. This is one type of problems which we can solve by using the VN method. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now. Now just before I close, let us take another example where let us say there are 5 or 6 terms and let me just give that to you so that we will feel a little bit more confident about this. So, now suppose I have to find out 1 by 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 into 11 plus 1 by 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 into 11 into 13 like this n terms we have to find out. We will apply our formula and try to finish it in quick. We know that Sn equal to 1 by R minus 1. How many terms are there? 6 terms are there. 6 minus 1 is 5. R minus 1 into D. What is the common difference? 2. So, that is taken care. Then we have to go to our V0. For V0, we know that we have to skip the last one. So, I can write down 1 by 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 minus now I have to go for my nth terms for each of one of them. 1 nth term is 2n minus 1. Obviously you have to add plus to that 2n plus 1 here. This is 2n plus 3 and this is 2n plus 5 and this is 2n plus 7 and this is 2n plus 9. Now in the initial we skipped the last term. Now we will skip the first term. So it will be 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 5 into 2n plus 7 into 2n plus 9. That's it. As simple as that. If you need, suppose let us say sum of these for 20 terms, you just put down n equal to 20 there and you will be done with your answer. So, that's just I thought give you one example where we have more numbers of terms there. Okay. So, I will see you again. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now. Till then, keep smiling and sharing.